14 pounds, 5 ounces, yes, they're looking for 21, 12. 24 pounds, 7 ounces, 24, 7, a brand new BMC Monster bag of the tournament. Well, yeah, well, good to see you. Yes, thank you very much. It's always good to have Austin Felix in our top 10. Yeah. Oh, look who's slinking around the top three. Let's get us. We got to get a Snapchat oh, from my family. We're doing a Snapchat. Okay. I, I, I don't know whether I'm more shocked. shocked. I only Is Snapchat. Is that what's happening in this tournament, or are they your own Snapchat? I only Snapchat my family, but I do that every morning. So uh, that's how we communicate during these tournaments. We all Snapchat. Oh, it's a bit, bit of a Snapchatter. Okay. No fog this morning. Is that going to screw up your your approach uh no not really no it's perfect <laughs> we will talk about what that it's just funny how weather dictates what you do and had it not been foggy yesterday morning i would have zigged when i zagged and so uh it just headed me in the right direction you know just started off the morning right but uh i'm just glad to be here having fun it's a great time of year to fish this fishery is incredible and just to have the opportunity the last couple of weeks to fish where we have during the weather conditions that we've had I'm like, you don't take that for granted. You know, I've been doing this a long time and uh, I just enjoy every moment now. I've just learned to, you know, that's what I'm here for is to enjoy it and it's good times and all these guys are capable of winning and uh, I feel like I am too and I just got to get around the right ones and do the right thing and that's we're just going out to have fun today. It's great to see you uh, in that place in your life. Joey says, why this? This is his first time leading. You're one of the most intimidating dudes in the sport. Go to work. <laughs> uh, well, I already knew before uh, he got here, he was a great angler. And uh, I'll be honest with you, this is probably one of the strongest group and strangest group of rookies that we've had in recent time. And if you've noticed, at the last two tournaments, the rookies are showing out. And uh, I knew that when they were coming, they were, uh, they were strong. But I'm going to refer to him as Sawinez. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what Sawinez has to say. <laughs> blessing and and I'm just gonna go out there and fish hard you know what would this victory mean to you man I've been really close several times it would it, it's gonna I'm gonna be a wreck I'm just gonna tell you right now but it, it's one of my goals um, I've got it wrote down and, and I'm gonna win a tournament one day I don't know if it's gonna be this one but I'm gonna give it all I got if you win this one, will we see a cowboy cry yeah probably <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, Ready? Demo Rogers, Ready. our friends from Nitro Mercury, Skeeter Yamaha, and Ranger Mercury going to be doing a demo. Day three, we're here. Great weather this morning. We're on a phenomenal fishery. We're going to power fish. I promise we won't be anything else today. We're going balls to the wall. That's a good time. This morning, we'll be kicking off at FS1. Okay. Yeah. it. How are you? Thank you, sir. Seminole, and we are 10 seconds away. Your tournament leader, he's an elite series rookie, the Cowboy, Joey Cifuentes. Right behind him, a former classic champion and former progressive Bassmaster Anger of the Year from Pitts Grove, New Jersey. Go out for Mike Giganelli. Another former progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Gonzales, Louisiana, the Hack Attack, Greg Hackney. A former Elite Series Rookie of the Year and Elite Series Champion. Don't sleep on this guy, the sleepy assassin. I think they're out here too. I caught a, a good one out here in practice, but I, I yesterday I didn't catch anything out here. I caught them all in shallower, but I still stopped out here. I also swam a jig through this yesterday morning. I didn't throw the buzz bait, so I was yeah, like, keep them honest, don't you? I'm like, it's a good place for a, just a giant pre-spawn fish to be hanging on one of these patches of grass before they move in there shallow to spawn, you know. This is where they're coming from, you know.
myself. Yeah, and I never caught another one out here, but I that's I, but it was one I weighed. It was the first bite I had yesterday, so that's what kind of you know. I was like, don't rush up in there just yet, you know. Right. We just gonna walk in there. Keeper, but I, I thought that I was like, man, that weight looked different. Mm, that looks like a bass, too. I had several of them. I mean, that, those aren't big ones. I had some big pushes like that yesterday. One fisher and come in the back side of it. I caught two big ones yesterday in the ditch there in the back, and I, I was like, I wanted to buzz bait around this mat. And then I'll fish it from a different angle. God, run it all the way to the mat, didn't get it. I think there were two. Might have to do something different. <laughs> Is a little, yeah. It could have been a little uh, pickerel would be big. That's re sorry about that. That's the reason on, I didn't. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, perfect. Oh man. Are you all right? Yeah. Uh, right in the call, Damn. That's the reason I didn't want to jerk that first time because I didn't. Uh, he didn't. You didn't Bobby Lane me, but you got close. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about that. No, no, no. no. I did. It was solid. <laughs> Wrong species and a big one would have caused me a lot of problems. Oh God, there's about a five pounder sitting with it. Oh. 
Got biggins on the beard or not? Okay. That big one is doing. I can't. I do now. Got him, missed it. Mm. Dang it! I probably would have picked up something else. I couldn't see it. I don't know. He's just swimming around there, you know. And I pulled that jig over a weed and I saw it turn up on its head. I was like, oop. Oh, yeah, I see it now. I see a little buck in there now, too. Yeah, maybe so. I got better stuff to do this with. I just, instead of a swim jig, but. I know he, I, I, I never, oh yeah. Pull the weed out of there. I hope that didn't jack it up. I don't know. I don't want to move too much because we're so close and she's not that spooky. I can't see her very well, but undoubtedly she can't see me very well either. So. I can see him because he's up high just swimming around. She seems to be sitting in one place. I'm going to have to squat down. Get my other pole out.
it would be a keeper. You know what I mean? One I wouldn't get rid of. That's the reason I'm gonna take a little time just to see. see her and she was sitting right there mm, mm, mm. I don't know. man I, I'm looking at one now I don't know it looks bigger but Just want to make sure I don't catch him. I need to put that bug back in there. She's in there now. She might have been there the whole time. I don't know. She likes that jig. I mean, she really turn up. She really turns up on it. she's leaving and coming back and you know I don't I kidding I only seen her just See, like right now, all of a sudden, I mean, she was there, she was turning up on the jig again, like she was going to get it. And then, now I don't know. It's like, she vanished again. Just as I pulled, you know, we drifted off just a hair. I was like, well, there she is right there. Did she come back to the top? Uh, I could see her over here, her, her body's dark. Man, the instant that jig hit the bottom, she stood on her head. I was like, oh, I know that's not the best thing to catch her on, but I mean, it's what she seemed like she likes it. Like right now, if she's there, she's not turning up. You, you know what I mean? Because that's the only time I could see her is when she act like she was going to. Like right now, I don't even know if she's in there. Kaka! It's in the mouth. She's still there. That's a nice one. If that fish had a name, we call it Sweeney's. Our shoot zone. <laughs> Terrible. Hey, we gotta get that knuckle bump in there, dog. We might get the whole deal today. You never know. Man, I said that's a nice one. That's what we're fishing for. <laughs> we fishing for whatever bites right now, but I was like, I am an opportunist, so 
if one's just gonna sit there with that kind of quality. Little rage bug action. kept shaking all of a sudden it just well I'd, I'd seen him swim off i was like it ain't him she was actually that might be just a hair bigger than i thought we just need four more just like her and there's two more right there there's one right there and one right there i see it moving about i mean if we have to look at them we'll look at them whatever Well, see, I had just pulled that buzz bait and that swim jig over with no reaction. That shoe pick, he come out. I saw him, I pulled that swim jig out or buzz bait to keep him from getting it. And all of a sudden she came up behind him. And I was like, ooh, there's a big one just swimming around right there. coming back and biting. Maybe the day is better. Live on the mix. Live on the mix. One of my favorite Saturday mornings. about a two and a half pounder swimming around, but I think that's him. He just won't, we sitting on his nest, so. He doesn't want to share the bed with us. You know, I pitched a bunch of holes yesterday. Like, you know, once that buzz bait deal kind of slacked off yesterday, I just started pitching holes and I caught fish, but I never caught any big ones. I just caught bucks. You know, it makes me think, cause I'm like, I can see the holes without any trouble. I just can't see what's in the bottom of them. Even with the sun shining yesterday, I can actually see better now with it dark cloudy, you know, because there's no shadows. And 
I have a better chance of seeing one right now, but again, I just don't want to run over, run through all of them fast. See, just like that's, I think that's what happened in Eden when it got hot. The big ones got high when that's when they like that swim jig when they get high. Water's hot, they're aggressive, and they're it's coming right over them. You know, where now they're down two foot under it, I can't make them come up and get it. We fixed another one. Look at that croaker. one in that hole but that's what happens when I'm pitching holes that's what I catch bucks. little bucks well what we'll do with it not okay, no floats in there oh, you know what that means don't you that means I ended up catching five yesterday that that never saw a float that's a good thing. You notice she didn't get one. I'm not planning on getting it. Oh, we just look at that. I just got a golden shower this morning. I told you this was going to be a fun day. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to get that started that early. I mean, I have been known to catch one just planking a rage bug around too, so I can do that if I need to. It's too much coffee or what to do with it, but I got a little bit of that going on. I know I do a good job of hiding it, but I thought about that this morning when we stopped. I'm like, man, it's crazy. I'm nervous. Why would I be nervous? Yeah, I've been fishing my whole life. Well, if that ever stops, you get to quit, right? I guess that's the deal. I'm like, it's. <laughs> what did Rick James say? It was a it was a good drug. <laughs> Well, the deal is with it. I can if they bite if they bite it. Chances are, ninety percent of them will be the ones. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm either not gonna get a bite on it, or they're gonna be freaking tanks.
saw a big one right in there yesterday somewhere, but it was that grass was thick. It wasn't it wouldn't like it was in a hole or something. So. God. Oh, man. I, I never even felt him. I don't know. I never felt him. I never felt him. I, I, I mean like he it was the frog was gone, you know? Yeah, I was I was tied on the God dang it. The frog was gone. I never touched him. Damn, damn it. I mean, I didn't hesitate long, but I saw all of him get it, you know? Yeah. That's not where that fish waked at either. But I must have thrown right on that fish so we know exactly where it's sitting at. Dang it, that was... Really? I mean, this frog is, I mean, he just didn't have I thought that rod, I just knew when I was swinging that rod was finna lock. Just. Mm, mm, mm. Plinker out, I guess. Let me shoot that bow made over. They bite in plastic. We'll do all that other later. I'm gonna jack any of them up. Make sure there ain't another one in this hole right here. To go with what I caught. There she is. Heifer. Yeah, she was looking, she's like, she come back and just did that to show me what it looked like. That way so light, I can't feel anything. Did she get it? Did she get it? Did she get it? Man, I thought, felt like one. I, felt like it got it there for a second, and then it. I don't know. Yeah, that's the funny thing. When she did that then, it looked just exactly the way it did on that frog. No doubt. Man, look at that. There's another big one waking right there.
Tesla. Should have been easy, you know? Especially with it being aggressive. Throw the other one up there first. Well, the good thing is I've already seen enough to know there's 20 pounds here and chances are 20 pounds will put me in. So I'm like, we don't, that's good. Some of my concern has went away. stupid behind it. <laughs> it this I kind of had this yesterday when they go to doing it I have to be real careful I don't get in a hurry they ain't going nowhere exactly and there ain't nobody else around here I mean this one just ran just came out over here I don't know if that's the same fish or is that the buck Looks like the buck. I mean, it's probably a two and a half pounder. I don't think that's the fish that blew up on that frog. I couldn't think of a better place for you and I to spend a Saturday morning. Oh, <laughs> I mean, like Jurassic Park. Exactly. little nice one. Let's just enjoy ourselves today. Dude, I'm having... I mean, just good times. Okay. Just good times. 
Yeah, just just a fun size to catch on a Saturday. Make you want to get out to get off the couch and go fishing. I get to watch Mark Zona all winter, see so catch them. So when we get ready to go, I'm fired up. He's fishing uh, Pat's Lake over and water was like 28 degrees, just slamming six pounders. And I'm like, man, that does make me want to go fishing. I'll just keep plinking my bug around for now. I think I'll get that frog back out once I get these holes cleaned out. Just a solid green pumpkin rage bug with a eighth ounce slick slip sinker. A five alt G-force gamakatsu. Let me plank it back over and make sure that one didn't have a friend. While we're shaking that thing, it goes. A while ago when I, I fired that frog over the first time, I fired right, right in here. I don't really see a hole there, but could have just been a big one laying in the grass. You know how it is, every now and then you find something magical. This is a magical place. I I didn't know how good it was till yesterday, so. Sprayed. The rut is in full force. <laughs> you always got to worry about them little guys. <laughs> like it came from right in there. Dang, I thought it was there. Oh, well, there's another one right there in that hole. A little one? Not what we... He got it. It's a little one. But I, I'm anticipating she might be, you know, you never know. She might have a, a large girlfriend. She not look very good. Somebody has cast for a little bit. I'm fixing to do something. I'm 
I need to get a little more aggressive. God, the giant wake right behind the boat in that hole I just fished. I don't know where it came from. I just happened to turn around as so I was picking them poles up and look. It was waking around back there. That's, look at that one coming. <laughs> but there was another one there too. There was actually three. There was one before I saw the other two. They're big ones swarming everywhere right there. Here we go. As a pike, a jackfish, whatever. Chick pickerel. Wasn't a bass. My sucker was fast. I was letting him have it to make sure when he shot back to the right that I was like, that's not a bass. This lake has probably, for a southern lake, about as good a pickerel population as you can ask for. One of these holes in here, there's a giant. I've been seeing her two days in a row. I think she comes from a little deeper in there. I think she's about middle ways. It's hard to fish because you, it's. <laughs> and that's the funny thing. They'll wake around like that. And then you might not see that for two or three hours. And all of a sudden you'll see that same fish make a big push.
keep thinking I would just be able to throw that bait in there and wind it through there. That's like that swim jig. I, I mean, you, I have to be going wide open. I mean, I have to be fishing it to get a bite on it. It's an aggressive bite when I get one, but you know, that, that Florida deal of just throwing that swim jig out there and winding it in. I find that, yeah, that, that's, that works there. And when we go up north, that kind of, but typically these, what I consider a southern bass, a true southern bass, where they have lots of bass tournaments, it's typically not like that. Saw the line jump. I mean, it's a clean hole in there. I'm like, I can't see in it though. actually warmer this morning than it was yesterday morning. <clears throat> but like this morning, I haven't caught a fat one. And, oh my gosh, how did I do that? Nice fish. It could be a female too, and I can't, the male might be little and I don't see it. I had been, I'm gonna, I put this, I'm going over you fast so it doesn't get you wet. I don't know, that kind of wild. It got back in there and sat still, you know, but then I just, it was shooting around. I just might take it a second to settle down. I don't know, it's moving fast. I'm hung on the damn weed. to the side. It's, it's doable, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's not super aggressive, but it ain't 
it ain't spooky and that's the main thing. But take a little time probably, but it'll be worth it because it's a pretty nice it's a pretty nice fish. It's, you know, it's definitely catchable. It's not like when I pitch in there, it runs off, you know, so. I just. It's, it's almost like I ain't figured out the right cast yet. The good thing is I'm pretty sure I know exactly where the bed is. Because while we were sitting there close after I just ease back just a little bit it seemed like it come right back to where hmm, like now I don't see it it's like that big and while ago I couldn't see it either sometimes and then sometimes I, I could see it when it stood on its head that was the only time I could I thought I saw it white up a little bit then. I looked like just something changed colors in there. I'm gonna make sure if it gets it again, got it. Man, I think that's it. That's not the fish I saw. It's caught in the mouth, but I don't think that, I mean, Dang, it would be funny for me to misjudge one that bad. I mean, this is not a bad fish, but uh, it's a chunk. I don't know. Where's little Blackie at? Oh, it helped. I mean. I mean, you better get it while you can, buddy. What you doing over there? I mean, I'm doing all them beauty shots for him. He's supposed to be getting it, you know? We're not gonna run off this shit. I thought that fish was closer to four pounds, you know? And I, I, don't, I, I mean, I might have big eyed it. it. Dang, I would have thought it was three and a half, you know? I'm sure that's the same fish that bit me the first time though. I couldn't see it. It was down in there, you know. That other one was swimming around. What you really like to do when you throw back in there, like it just never stops. Right. <laughs> Positive thinking. I don't know, see, just like that fish, that fish has had a buzz bait over it this morning, a swim jig, a frog, you know. I feel, I'm, I'm gonna make two or three casts there without, and then I'm gonna, Take that pole and ease up there just to see. Just 
to make sure. I guess it could have been. You know, I got, I got old big eye this morning. There's another one and I ain't seen it. It's big. I don't know. I say that it's considerably bigger than the one I just caught. I'm not gonna tell you how big it is. I'm just gonna say it's bigger than the one I just caught. I don't know if it's on the bed or not. I just happen to see it's a big old tail fanning in there. That same hole? No, it's in a, a little bit farther up. But it looks bigger than the fish I saw a while ago, so I don't know. It, I can't really tell if there's even a bed where I saw it at. It's just a, there is an opening. <laughs> I can tell you what, oh, it was a keeper. I don't know. See, it was just floating up in the grass. But God, I just fired that swim jig all over that, you know? Frogging, buzz baiting. I don't know, I can't. Just, I, I just, uh, just as I saw her, she swam. She was floating up high, and uh, I don't see anything. No, not really. Just kind of eased. I do think she, you know what I mean. She felt my presence. I don't know that she, she didn't really run off like she felt me. I mean, you know, or saw me, but just all of a sudden that tail as big as my hand, just, and I could see the back half of her. I never saw her front. But. Um, I can see in that lane I was going down, and it, there's a clean yellow spot right there, but she was out there in that. she's in there or not I don't know but I don't really see the only other place if she was getting somewhere else would be right here in front of me and I actually can see a little a good enough big as that fish was I'd be able to see. oh there she is right there she's just hanging out she post spawn or something now she's just swimming in the she's just swimming I say that now she she just kind of went out there and sit, like she's just sitting in the grass, you know. And she just, she didn't go nowhere. That's one of them swim jig fish, you know what I mean? It's like I caught them two yesterday, they just float and you fire the right cast, you don't get them to bite, because now she's just sitting there. And I told you, you know, I saw another big one yesterday just swimming in the grass like that that wouldn't around any, uh, Yeah, she don't. I, I don't really know how to fish for her to be, you know, pitching to her when I can see her. I want to see if she comes back somewhere. Now she's moving. I mean, she's so big and so high, I can see her. She's a six pounder. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I'm not big on it. It's big. I mean, she's only about that deep under the water. You think that was the fish you saw? Before? No, I don't. This fish is considerably bigger than what I thought I saw. I'm gonna see if she's, she's come back over here. She's on our side now. She went back in the grass. I'm gonna, I was just gonna see if she comes back into that hole where I saw her at. <coughs> that would make me think if she was on the bed. Or there's another hole about five foot farther up I've not fished in yet. 
And I'm like, that actually could be the, because the one I saw her in, and she might have been making a loop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like she might not have been sitting there. She could have been just making a loop. I can't. That's a clean hole. She went over here and then she just cruised and went right back in there, so. And she didn't come out then when I made that cast, so. Yeah, they're as close as I was to that first fish I saw, there's no way if I just, you know, this fish is big. I mean, it's, you know, 25 inches. I don't know, it's big. so long since I, I don't really think that would help. Boy, that's a fresh fish. Look how clean that fish is. That fish just got there. On this side it would have to be blue. You ever heard of that monkey in the football? If I get in a hurry, that's definitely. Yeah. No, still blue. Blue it is. That was in that hole where that one waked at. I thought that one waked with you. I mean. That fish seemed awful small for the one it weighed, but who knows? I almost thought I saw, could see it then. I was like, man, it looks like I see something in there. Yeah. Come in here. That's what I'm about. Oh, it's in the mouth. I didn't see it, but I like to catch them in the mouth anyway, so. Oh, oh blue. Oh blue. <laughs> Let me look in this box, make sure I got a small one in. sure of the size but I'm pretty sure it'll help for sure I just caught a glimpse of it
this might not work. This might not work. I'm, I'm, I'm at a bad angle. I'm not 100% sure. I'm guessing it where it was. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it was trying to get right back there close. So I'm like, It's a real lime colored fish. It means it's new. You know what I mean? It's not dark. That big one a while ago, she's jet black. She's been out there. I might have to re you know, just go on and come back to get right on this. Such a big clean spot. Sometimes you can fish around them a little bit, you know, make them lock down. That, that's kind of what I did this morning on one of those. It seemed like after I made two or three casts, then it, you know, it got defensive and got on where it was not wanting me to be at. When I saw that bowl, it came up right there on the edge of the reeds. You're live on the mix. Damn, I about got to catch it. It's in the same place it was a while ago. I missed it just a little bit. It's a little bit farther over. When I saw it a while ago, it wasn't running from me. That's where it's sitting at. It's a thick looking fish. I, I just, man, I'd hate to. I'm gonna set back up and look at my fish and see what, but, cause I don't want to waste any time. You know what I mean? Like, Just, it's a, it's a good fish, you know. I still didn't really get far enough out, did I? I feel like I moved back a while ago farther than that. Boy, if I could see that sucker, that would help. Then I'd know if I needed to fish for him and that would increase my odds of catching him faster. But when I'm looking for right where I saw him a while ago, I'm like, well, he was sitting right there. Well, I'm like, there he is. It's on the same place. I'm like, well, that's the spot. We've established that. Oh yeah, there he is right there. Let's see what he does. I might have to push back. I'll give him a second and see.
God's got. I mean, if I could just see him one more time. Because that's what it looks like, a big male. Something just waking all around. God, there was a giant push in there one time, you know, behind my swim jig that I was coming. I, well, there's a whole bunch of fish in there. That's what I can't figure out what's going on. God, look at that one right there. Let's get them. <laughs> yeah, right now. Oh, wow. So that one came from right there. Right in marked. See, something doesn't seem right about that right Dang, I got bit then, but I don't know if it was a bluegill or... That was something different. I don't know. It never had it good. I did get a bite. You think when they start feeding it has anything to do with their shiners? Well, I just think uh, there's so much life here that I think when it goes down, you know, that's what golly, that's what makes it really go down. You know what I mean? There's so much life. Eh? But the funny thing about that. I mean, it triggers a whole yeah. effect. I don't really know what that is. It's, it's different, but. Because the deal is, I, I can't feel any clean in there. It's like it's solid patch of grass. But the water's just working alive with fish there. Some other, you know, of all, all kinds. Run over all those weeds. Susie. <laughs> <Good up again. laughs> you almost got me in that dark spot again. <laughs> oh. Now we just gonna have to back go for the other one. I think the smallest ones are in uh, in this side for sure. But. Hey, I mean, we really just trading fish now. You know what I mean? Like they were about to exactly the same. Got the most water on the track. Right. I mean, he didn't know. I knew. I was like, man, this fish is torquing me. I'm looking at it. Didn't look that big, you know. I was like, man, but what fights? And when I saw fat good, I was like, how about this? I almost left it. 
I came that close. I was like, you've been slinging, you slung a five pounder, dude. I'm like, really? You gonna punt now? I ain't caught a fish on a rage bug all week and I got 20 of them dead in the floor. Like roaches. Well, I stayed in a place down there at uh, Okeechobee. The roaches were big enough they could stand flat-footed and work over a turkey. Um, yeah, I mean, big and freaking roach turd was... <laughs> I'm like, really? I couldn't even go to sleep at night for fear they'd eat my eyebrows off. Like turkey tracks. <laughs> oh, I'm fixing it. You know, I mean, that's cocking that hammer. That's what that... I was getting on my toes. I don't know why I feel like I, I need to be on my toes to set the... So the deal was, when I pitched in there again, I thought I saw that line go tick. I was like, and when I eased up and went to check it, I was getting ready. Anticipation. here in front of me. He was in the opening there. I can't, I, when, I don't know if I spooked him when I cast over him or, you know, he just dispersed quite a bit of water. I mean, it could have been a three pounder, but I mean, hard to tell, but it, oh God, look at that. See that weight coming? Big one. Now that was a big one. I mean, he came from right in there. I don't know if that's, I mean, that's a big one. Isn't that funny? We fished down through there, and I'm looking at everything, and I ain't seen nothing, you know, looking for that. I don't feel anything clean in there. I don't know in my mind, like, what I should be throwing that would make those fish, you know. And yesterday, I, I, I swam that big rage swimmer around out here, you know. I never even had a bite on it, you know, but different days. You know the cool thing about fishing with them bedding fish with braid? I just, I just let them, they're pulling me. I just, you don't have to do no. I don't have to jack, and I want to jack them, but you just pull. More they pull, the deeper it goes. Deeper it goes, I mean, it just holds them too. Well, get it. came too far. It moves slow too. I don't know. It might not have been a bass. It could have been a... Uh... I mean... Dang it. I don't know. I mean, that swim jig bite yesterday, when they do bite, it is so aggressive. It's crazy. And these are, that look like a decent sized fish, not big. That's what I'm thinking. All of a sudden it, it, it seems like they've gotten more and more active, you know. Well, 
that fish would come out of that right there is a big one. And I mean, I don't know it. I just, I know exactly. Hopefully that is a sign of good things to go. I thought it was going to get it. It came from right, see it right there? Yep, yep. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a bed in that hole. It's spooky now, it ran the bait out and now it's gotten spooky, I don't know, give it some time. It looks big, I mean, you know. I mean, it was chasing that bait, but my bait was messed up, you know, so I'm like, after that bug then. As soon as I came out of that, came after it. I saw it come that way. Strange, oh. Then it didn't look big. You know, the wake wouldn't, but it was deeper push, so I I don't really feel anything clean in there. It feels like solid uh, vegetation. vegetation. I don't know. I ain't seen it again. At least I'm starting to get some little smells anyway, you know? Like they might be picking up a little bit. This is real fast. Seems different.
Not that that little bit of color change, this is a slight color change. I mean, they see awful good in that clear water, but I don't. I really changed for me to help my feelings. Say it again. Yeah, just to change it up a little bit. I was like, I've thrown that other one so much. I don't want to get burnt out on it. I, it's the one I have the most uh, confidence in. See, see how them gnats have just showed up? But there you go. Yesterday morning, as soon as I shut the boat down, you couldn't hardly breathe on them. The humidity must have just got high. I'll give him a second to come back. You know, it could be tilapia, but I haven't seen any. You would, because you know how they get white looking. Yeah, usually you see them. You see them. And I hadn't, I ain't seen a bed that looked like a tilapia bed, you know. I don't know if they got them here or not. I mean, they could. I never really heard anybody say. Oh, you mean in this lake? Yeah, I would yeah, think. They're, they're, I, well, I saw a bunch of them for two days. And I mean, that could be what some of that waking is. But I say that, and then after I catch some of that waking, I'm like, no. Well, it's just a nice one. I don't know if that's the one that's been doing all the damage or. I'm just going to see if he you come back. I at least know where he's getting at for a later date. It's like a big male, you know. Still was a dozen. There's a dozen places he could have come from right there. I don't know. There's one right there. Boy, it was fat. I didn't get a good look at it. I mean, they're everywhere. We fishing all around them when I ain't getting a bite, you know. I see them everywhere we go. I mean, I ain't, you know, that one wasn't a giant, but I, it was a, a nice fish. So much better when I could just wind that buzz bait through there and just... Undoubtedly, that species of fish died out. She got it. That's not the fish I was expecting. That's where I saw that big old wake at a while ago. I don't know. I mean, I'll look, but I mean, it's not a bad fish. But... Dang. Remember I saw a big wake out there? I mean, that was in the hole. That's where it was, but I don't think that'll help. I mean, litter mates. You seeing that? Are you seeing that? I'm talking about. I can't tell. Yeah. I can't tell. 
Let's put the new one in there. It's just as fresh. Change color ball. That still ain't a bad little old chunk. Wow. Man, that thing goes doop. I was like, it's a giant. That's what I was thinking because I was like, that wake was big. Still hard for believe that fish made that wake, but Keep pulling that trigger. Surely here in a minute. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, surely he's gotta be. I mean, ain't no way I didn't catch them all yesterday. Gotta be some old big ones out here. No doubt they're biting now if you get on them, you know. Is that the first pitch in there? First pitch in there, I just went to move it. He was on it. Didn't even really crawl it about six inches, you know what I mean, and he was on there. Got it. I saw something bowling around right there. Giant hole should have been a giant bass. Hmm. That was strange. Felt like it was. Yep, he got it. He just ain't very big, but he was in there. I wasn't for sure, you know, but I was about 90%. I was like, man, I felt bite-ish. Well, it's just like if you just get it right, you don't have, you can't, you gotta be close. I pitched on one side of that, you know, and didn't get a bite. You gotta hit them right on the head. But if you do, they bite. But they ain't swimming off out there to get it. You know, I can tell that. That's the reason none of them get it on the fall. If they were aggressive, they just clip it, you know, when it was. I mean, cause they don't miss anything. And this color water, they saw it in the air, you know, I mean.
Uh-uh. But I 100% got bit. Oh. Dang. I waited. I felt it bite, and I, I waited, you know. Yeah. I should have, I got in a hurry, I guess, but it was pulling. You know, I felt it go ding, and the line went slack, and I picked up and checked it, and it was just pulling down. Dang it. I mean, it could have been the buck, you know, but anyway, I know. Yeah, I know right what cast to make. I know right where that bite came from. Hmm. Unless that's the buck biting, you know. God, let that sucker pull me then, you know. Bit one leg off my... Uh -oh. I got her. Took a little time, but I got her. I got her. Yes! 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 yes. I'm this took a little time. Took a little time. Sure, going the right one. when I stuck it I was like maybe it's bigger than I thought I mean she bit three casts when she finally went to biting I pitched that jig in her because after she didn't bite again I was like that jig might make her mad just because it's bigger well she got it I'm glad she didn't get, you know what I mean I didn't jack her up on that no, but you got, you, like, that jig took her to the next, next level, level. level. God, when, when I stuck her, stopped, I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I was just sitting there thinking, I was like, well, if we have to go, I'll start on her tomorrow. You know what I mean? I was like, I said, that'll be my starting fish. Hey, I was looking at the clock inside my camera here, and I was thinking, well, he wanted to get 45 minutes. This might be the last cast. It was just about to the end. You know, as far as that goes, let's go. 
That'd be a great fish to quit on, wouldn't you think? He's a six-time Bassmaster winner, a former progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Gonzales, Louisiana, the Hack Attack, Craig Hackney. Started the day with 38 pounds, 12 ounces. He needs 12.8 to get into 10. He needs 23.15 to take the lead. Five fish all alive. 22 pounds, 13 ounces. 22.13, and Greg Hackney with 61 pounds, nine ounces. The Hack Attack moves into second place at the Gamagatsu Bassmaster Elite. <laughs> 61 pounds and nine ounces, a little short of the lead, but man, you've put yourself in striking distance in every tournament before the tournament, you guys always say the same thing. I just want a shot going into Sunday. You're going to have a shot. Yeah, I look forward to going out there again. It's been fun the last couple of days. I just really struggled the first day of the tournament. And, uh, you know, I had some, one got off. Other than that, I fished really clean the last couple of days. And totally different today from yesterday. I had to fish a lot slower. Yesterday, I power fished. Today, I finesse fished. But... Uh, it's all good. It's all good. I'm just like I told you this morning. I'm just glad to be here, and uh, I do have an outside shot, and I will be foot on the gas tomorrow. And however it turns out, that's how it turns out. But uh, these young cats, they're catching them now. You know what I mean? Like they're so. I know what I got to do, but you know it is what it is. We'll see. I know you can get it done. Let's hear it for Greg Hackney.